snickerdoodle is officially making her nest it is official this is there's no doubt about it this time it's happening look at her go I'm in here with Snickerdoodle. She is ready to pop. I can feel all of the babies in here just wiggling around, ready to come out. I just don't know. I don't know if I need to stay out here. I don't know. I mean, she's acting really uncomfortable. She was just grunting. She really doesn't appreciate this flash. She did let me move her though, which is not typical. She doesn't like to be touched. So, I don't know, I'm kind of scared to leave her at this point. I'll keep you posted. Her eyes are watering. I don't know what this thing she's doing with her mouth is. So I couldn't sleep um, and I came out just to check on her and see how she was doing. I was literally just on the couch staring at the camera and um, so anyway I came out just to see how she was and then I ended up going back inside for a little bit. I was kind of dozing in and out at this point on the couch, but I saw her kind of bed down, so then I was like, oh, maybe it'll be okay. And then I woke up and I saw this happening. So I ran and I told my husband, I think it's happening, I think it's happening. And then by the time I had gotten outside, we had a baby. She's working on now. She's doing so good. I'm trying to get. 
keep first baby warm. It's freezing tonight, of course. So we're trying to keep the first baby warm. And then once she gets everybody out, we're gonna have to get all the tail. Poor thing. She's working so hard. So at this point, I'm just panicked, absolutely panicked. I had texted the vet like half an hour before this, and I, I just couldn't get a hold of anybody. And I didn't know what to do. I was, my husband came down, and I was just crying, basically saying, oh my gosh, I think if I don't get these babies out, she's going to die. I did not know what was going to happen. Tried to give her some water, tried to get her to move, tried to roll her around, you know, just do whatever I could to try to get the baby out. And I thought there was maybe more. It turns out, you know, not, but oh my gosh, I was so stressed and I, I just, I thought for sure something was going horribly wrong. Babies normally come 10 to 15 minutes apart, and at this point it had been two hours, and I was just panicked. <laughs> it's so tiny. Babies! What? I got the whole both of them at the same time! What? No. <laughs> Do they look disgusting? No, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> Come see. Come on. It's not scary. This one is the boy. How do you know? Oh, it tickles. <laughs> I know. Oh, little girlsy girlies. Yeah, hold her close, make her feel safe. You can touch her nose. <laughs> so this is what we got overnight. Two sweet little babes. This one, this was the little girl. She popped out first. And I was inside still, I had to run out. I didn't even know that was really happening. And then she was just out. And then we had to wait two more hours for the little boy to come out. And we were very nervous because that was a long time to wait between babies. It's not supposed to be that long. So we thought maybe something was wrong, but Snickerdoodle seems to be doing just fine. She's up, 
she's eating. That means she has no more babies. I mean, she seems to be doing really great and I was really worried last night, so there was nothing to be worried about. Because they are doing just fine, babies are fine, mommy's fine, oh. we're good to go. <laughs> Cute. Cute little things. Cute little babies. The mama finally had her babies. They're eating the milk. I mean, drinking the milk. And she just lays down when they want. When they want to. We already had baby babies. Baby, baby's now he's done. Oh no, baby, baby's getting 